A local bartender is going viral for his incredible virtual Lego creations. All of them are of Twin Cities landmarks with meticulous attention to detail. Here's Fox 9's Maury Glover. I like it. The process of figuring out, and even if it's just watching the or following the directions. Since he was a child, Ryan Fuchs has built Lego sets in real life. But thanks to the pandemic, he's turning his Lego building skills to the digital world instead. Putting the bricks together and seeing how and why it's constructed and understanding that. That's what I get out of it. COVID-19 closed bars and restaurants back in March. Ryan, who's worked as a bartender at Auto Saloon for the last 10 years, found himself with a lot of extra time on his hands. So he found a computer program that allowed him to build a virtual Lego model of the bar, which he soon followed up with other watering holes, like the CC Club and Spring Street Tavern, as well as local landmarks like the IDS Tower, the Grain Belt Beer Sign, and Mickey's Diner. It brings back a lot of heartstrings for people to revisit places that don't exist anymore or aren't open anymore. <laughs> After the lead singer of the band Trailer Trash posted pictures of Ryan's Lego version of the now-closed Lee's Liquor Lounge, complete with a miniature version of the band performing inside, the images Ryan had on social media went viral. Ryan says it takes him about a month to build each digital model, but they cost a lot less than they would if they were made of plastic bricks. Legos are extremely expensive. As people have found out, I think... Uh, uh, the average cost of one of these bar sets, if it were to exist in real life, would be between five and six grand. And uh, that, that's a lot of bricks uh, to collect and pay for. Ryan is currently working on a virtual Lego version of Nye's Polonaise Room. And he's in talks with the owner of the CC Club to make a Lego model of that bar take physical form. Right, here we copy. In the meantime, he hopes his creations continue to bring back memories of some of his city's most well-known places. I'm having fun. I'm amazed by the attention that this is getting. I'm glad that I'm making people happy. In Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9 News. <laughs> oh, those There's belong Maury. in a museum. Did you see our news van just keep ripping by? Yeah. <laughs> it was so great.